Hey everyone, so we're out here in beautiful Caledon, Ontario on this lovely November day. Uh, I'm going to be sharing with you on this video uh, a actually a trail that I've never ever been to before so I'm excited to try this out myself. Uh, the roads are looking pretty nice in this area, uh, really smooth. Uh, we're going to be heading to Badlands. Again, it's located in Caledon, Ontario on this beautiful November day. So for those of you that don't know what the Badlands are, it's an area consisted of red colored shale which has eroded into smooth faced gullies and hills. History states this area was actually formed from bad farming practices. The Cheltenham Badlands is a four square kilometer of land that has two surrounding trails. The Bruce Trail approximately 1.3 kilometers and the Badlands Trail approximately 325 meters. I've hiked both trails in the past and highly recommend them. The trails are suitable for all skill level, but unfortunately these hiking trails are prohibited for cyclists, but hey, it doesn't hurt to change up your adventure for the day. Also, something that should be noted if you do plan to visit, physical access to walk on the Badlands is no longer available as it leads to erosion of this sensitive area. So, they have put in place a boardwalk. This boardwalk is designed not only to preserve the land, but also has optimal viewing points for pictures. The grounds to this area are open to the public from May through October and closed throughout the winter. So something I wanted to mention about this area is I really enjoyed being on the stretch of this road just because there is not that much traffic. It's honestly something that I'm not used to because I'm used to just cycling throughout the city and cars everywhere and pedestrians everywhere and I'm just enjoying myself at this point just enjoying the scenery and what made this ride more enjoyable is that there was hardly any wind this day so for all you cyclists out there you know how frustrating it could be just riding against the wind when you're putting so much effort into trying to go fast and yet you feel like you're on a stationary bike. So before I forget to mention, this road that I'm on is the baseline road, which will lead you right into the Badlands area. And just a piece of advice, if you do plan on biking in this area, um, there is a parking, uh, don't quote me on this, but I'm not sure if it's free or what, but um, it's off of Mississauga Road and I parked at the Caledon Brickworks. Uh, there, uh, Mississauga Road leads up to Old Baseline Road, which will lead you right into the Badlands area. However, if you do want to park right at the Badlands, you have to make reservations online due to COVID restrictions. So this is the Cheltenham Badlands, and I bet I can guess what most of you are thinking when you see this. It looks like something you would see on Mars. So you can see why this landscape is highly preserved. It looks beautiful. Now at this point, I just started to go along with my ride. I had no idea where I was going, but I said, you know what, let me just enjoy the day. So I continued along Old Baseline Road. On the right, you can see the parking lot I was talking about. That's where the start of the trail begins and the entrance to the Badlands. Now here I start picking up some pretty good speed but I'm not really too familiar with this area so I don't want to go too fast because I don't know where there's going to be an intersection 
or all of a sudden a stop sign. And again, I want to mention there isn't too many cars going up and down this road. I did this ride during the week around 4 in the afternoon, so maybe that's why there's not much traffic. Considering I was riding in this area in November, the scenery was nice. I can only imagine how it would look during the summer months. Cycling across farmland and having trees surrounding you just makes you have that sense of freedom and peace. Coming to areas like this is a nice change of pace and a relaxing getaway from the city. Now, this road I'm on is a side road and it was really bumpy. I was really trying to avoid the potholes. There's a few roads like this that I came across because I was trying to find a different route to head back. If you're familiar with the area, you know the best roads to be on. I just prefer to venture into new areas, even if that means avoiding massive potholes. Now I'm coming down this fast downhill and I'm hoping the road doesn't get worse with gravel because that's just a disaster waiting to happen, but thankfully it does clear up. Then I see up ahead the road is paved, but I have a squirrel just eating in the middle of the road. And now I'm hoping he sees me and moves out of the way in time. And of course, he moves out of the way at the last minute and almost runs into my bike. So now I reach Credit View Road. So I decided to cycle up the road and onto a bike path I didn't even know existed. This trail is called the Greenbelt Route. I was so pumped about being on this trail, I had to change my camera perspective because I didn't know if the shot was going to come out jumpy on the handlebar mount. So now I put the camera on my helmet. As you can see, all the trees are bare. So again, I can only imagine how this would look in the summer. I'm definitely coming back here in the summer. So after doing some research, I found out this trail is 475 kilometers long. That's huge. And according to the website, the trail is for moderate to advanced skill levels. And based on what the map shows on their website, you can take this trail all the way to Niagara Falls. That's crazy. I'll have to plan a day next summer to ride a big portion of this trail. Well, hello to you too. After a quick check of the map, I'm off and on my way back to the parking lot. Now I'm back where I started. This is Mississauga Road and across the street is the parking lot of Caledon Brickworks. I believe the Brickworks is now an abandoned historical site. So this comes to the end of the video and the day I explored a portion of Caledon. I hope this video gets you motivated to get on a bike and just enjoy the outdoors. 
So please show your love and comment down below your thoughts on the video. And as always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I also have an Instagram page you can follow at Rexel Bikes. And on there, there's more cycling content, group rides and charity events in and around the GTA. I'll leave you here with a map of the Greenbelt route in the Caledon area. Cheers.